I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. What have we done today? We have worked out, uh, we've spent time with the kids. Um, I have planned a little bit of fun and exciting things for our Patreon space that we are scheduled to open back up in the fall. I am currently cataloging a ton of books um, because my kids read um, like fish swim. We're working on a few super easy science projects just because. So we are actually year round homeschoolers. If you guys have been here for a little while then you know that already, but I am thinking about taking a bit of a break. Um, I know we've moved into unschool and everything, but I still kind of calculate and keep things in my mind. I'm trying to let it go, it's hard, <laughs> okay? I still account for our days just the same. Um, and it's been, a bit of a challenge shaking the kids out of the idea of their schedules uh, we do have a routine that we move along with just because we need to be good stewards of our time and we can't sit around all day waiting for them as they do nothing waiting for them to do something so uh, they do have a little bit of a schedule that they stick to and it's so cute because Cameron is actually the leader that is actually his job in our household is to keep them on their schedule but um, we're going to be taking a bit of a break next week because it's Savannah girl's birthday and um, I am going to be prepping all the things for our Patreon space. I cannot wait to have that space open again so I can talk to my friends. <laughs> Yes, you can all have one. So the kids each got a pipette and oh, we, we are gonna this. do some simple science. We're gonna do the super simple Skittles experiment and watch it make a Skittles color rainbow. So they chose their own patterns because I had um, smaller dishes for them. This is Cameron's, <laughs> this is Kendall's, and this is Savannah's. Gonna take some water and they're gonna put it in the center of each one of their dishes to see what happens. And then, me too. <laughs> Yeah, I should have green. I wanted it to have some green because I'm the green one. What's that mean, Kendall? It means that green's my school color. <laughs> I've always color-coded the kids, so Savannah is pink, Cameron is blue, and Kendall's green, so green is his color. Look at that! Mine is rainbow. Look at Savannah so quickly. Now, it moved around a little bit. It didn't go straight to the middle, and that I is did. because... Why? Did why? Move in? Yes. Ooh. Look how much baking soda I well, This is what Charlotte eats. Flies, bugs, grasshoppers, beetles, moths, butterflies, tasty cockroaches, gnats, daddy long legs. That's disgusting. Beads, mosquitoes, <laughs> crooked. Anything that is careless enough to get caught in our web? <laughs> 
So now we're outside. We bought our candies out and now, and they are quiet reading. Sometimes in my book, when it says Jessica, that's his mom. They show the mom's side of the story while he's somewhere else. It's like a different point of view, right? Mm -hmm. You like when they do that? Mm -hmm. What are you reading? Hack. Look at that dimple while you smack on that candy. <laughs> you only have one? I only have one more. He has two yeah. dimples. It's about a fox named Hack and a boy named Peter. So why don't you like it? They're looking for each other. Okay. But that's not the reason. So what's the reason? Actually, I don't know anymore. I'm still gonna look at now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're starting to like it now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just stick with it, right? And then you can give your final thoughts at the end. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time to convince Vanna to read Charlotte's Web again. We've got a Skittle shake. Skittle juice! <laughs> there are a lot of things Wilbur doesn't know about like she thought. The first time we read Charlotte's Web, it was a read aloud. And Savannah was mm -hmm. actually really, really little. That was a long time ago. Do you remember it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we used to read it in the garage. We used to do this tiny voice like, <laughs> who, but who was I trying to be? Charlotte. Charlotte. Uh -huh. For Charlotte. I thought Charlotte was the kid. Mm -mm, no. I thought that because the, the book is literally called Charlotte's Way. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall, you're right. This morning I came out here and my tomato plants, um, were they were oh, shriveling. Yeah. They were like all shriveled up poor things they had no water whatsoever and even the soil was kind of like peeling back from the sides because it was so dry so I showed the kids this morning and I meant to take the camera out and totally forgot I went ahead and just gave it a ton of water and within like a couple minutes right guys and they had already started well, perking up. Were, were good. Look at their little dimples moving. <laughs> we don't this often have time. sugar. You can tell they're super happy. That is so like incredible to me. I should have shown Brian because he's been really, really fascinated by all of this. What's a contributor? It's just someone that helps. And y'all tell me what this is. My cilantro is down here. It's quite a bit of it. But then I have all of this up here. What is this? I feel Chapter like... Chapter 5! Chapter 5, Summer Days. <laughs> I like Roman numerals. <laughs> the chapters on this book are in Roman numerals. What number is that actually, Savannah? That's not uh, Chapter 5. V with an I after it stands for... 6. 6. So that's actually Chapter 6. Oh, right here. What about X, V, I, I, I? So X is 10. V, v is five. five. I, I know that one. one. Right. Wait, 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 don't tell me. 18. Good job. Yeah, so there are 22 chapters in that book. Man. We finished with our science projects and now the kids are heading out to go and play a little bit in the sprinkler system. It's because it's hot outside and they need a little bit of a break. Here to check on our vertical planter and it's doing pretty well. I was telling Brian that I probably should have used um, a few plants that were already a little bit mature, but I think it's still working out really well since we have a lot of things that have grown very nicely in the square garden. It's given them a little extra patience when waiting for the things in this vertical garden. So this is actually the cantaloupe. And this is our watermelon. And down here, that is carrot. And then this is our green bean over here. So, an update of the vertical garden. This is what she looks like. Um, I don't know if I said we moved it to this corner over here, but we did. Are you going? You're not going? So I finally get some time to come and sit out here and read. Brian finished his last book all super duper fast. <laughs> 
So it turns out my kids and my husband read much faster than me. Anyway, I'm going to keep trying. He finished his last book and now he's trying to move on to mine. So earlier he was reading my book and now I guess I need to do better. I may even switch over to the audiobook so I can move along a little bit faster. <laughs> So I'm gonna give it a try. At least try to get in about 15 to 20 minutes of sitting out here and reading. back to talk to you guys again just let them play outside running through the water a little bit just so they can cool off and things and now they're heading out to go and uh ride their bikes i am cataloging all the things lots of books and finishing up um recording some podcasts for my patron fam and preparing all the things for that space to open up soon i'm so excited <laughs> So if you're new here, let me catch you up a little bit. Actually, let me talk to you about why, um, about my whole YouTube journey and why I stopped sharing a certain way. Let's talk about that for a second, shall we? So Savannah's birthday is actually coming up next week. So we're gonna take a bit of a week off. Even though we unschool, I still account for our days. It's how it works in my brain. And so I'm just kind of going with that. But we're gonna kind of have a week off next week, which will give me plenty of time to film. I'm gonna be filming and recording and doing all the things for our Patreon space to open back up in the fall. So in short, I've been on YouTube for a long time. <laughs> it's been quite some time. It's been quite some years. I came on with the intention of documenting our homeschool life and using the space to get better at uh, using my gifts at filming and photography and editing and all that stuff. Um, once people started to find me, it became an interesting thing because everybody has questions. I get it. Um, but the thing is, I think I've been on this very long journey of just understanding who we are and what we do and what we bring to the space and sometimes it feels like it's been a painful process but I have learned what we bring to the table and how we want to share. I want to share more about all of the other things, the things that reach beyond curriculum, the things that reach beyond schedules and routines and I have to tell you this has been quite the journey, okay? <laughs> I've grown tremendously on the inside but on the outside in the space of YouTube I haven't that 100% has to do with uh, not playing the game a certain way YouTube's algorithm is set up a certain way that um, you need to uh, title your videos a certain way you need to include certain content and it's been a long journey of just um, pushing through frustrations uh, in order to get to the place that we want to be and saying no to a lot of the ways that people want me to share is it's been hard it's been hard but it's been worth it and i feel very happy about where we are a little over a year ago we opened our patreon space just to start testing the waters out because i do i love talking about all things homeschool and adjusting schedules and routines and those types of things but the way that youtube is set up has everything to do with being able to partner with companies companies and brands and do things a certain way that I just wasn't willing to do them that way. I have no problem with partnering with brands and things like that, but I don't want to be a, a part of a cycle of consumerism that is not 100% what I have signed up for. So we opened up our Patreon space just to test the orders out and see how that was going to be. It's more of a raw be my homeschool mom friend, be our homeschool family friend, um, and just kind of talk through things and, and walk through things in this everyday homeschool life, um, but without the pressures of needing to conform or have my work fit into a certain way. And that's how I used to do things. I used to try to be as fancy or, um, or, um, or creative as possible with videos that fit into a box, videos that were answers to the questions that I was getting the most about routines and curriculum and things like that. But it's been important to me all along the way to stay true to what I believe. And while 
box curriculum and more and more homeschool specific resources is just not what I believe in. I do believe in finding something and making it work uh, because those resources aren't always going to be available for you at all times and they're not always going to work for you in your homeschool. So just bringing creativity to the homeschool space is what I love to share about. Um, but Patreon gives me a space to be able to still let, let my hair down and um, just be homeschool mom. Um, and it's also giving me uh, what I needed to be able to be more free in this YouTube space, creating what I initially wanted to create, which it all boils down to getting better and becoming the filmmakers, the family of filmmakers that we envision ourselves to be so yeah we are going to be spending this time really working on that film and we're all so excited about it and i want to talk about all of just i just want to be creative as possible in this space and opening up our patreon space will give me an opportunity to kind of let my hair down and talk about other things but in an un unhindered type of way so i'm preparing for that um, because i put our patreon space on pause in order to put a little bit more intention and um, planning behind it all but still in a very raw and real way uh, but just so that I don't have the pressures of um, well I haven't posted there today or um, did I get enough out today so everybody who has been a part of our patron fam has been 100% amazing <laughs> And when I paused, it was nothing but moving in wisdom because little did I know that all of these things were going to come shortly thereafter with the pandemic and protest and just all of the things that have come shortly after deciding to pause that space. And now I'm just really working on um, coming back in the fall and I'm very excited about it. I will say that I love to speak here from my heart and I love to speak truth in love. And I could get mad at the algorithm, at YouTube's algorithm, but the reality is that the algorithm is built based on our behaviors. And I've often just felt like we need to do better. There are things that we're looking for in homeschool and life and parenting and marriage that is beyond watching videos on relationship goals is beyond watching videos on curriculum and routines and schedules and we are not searching for those things and because we're not searching for those things and because we're constantly asking for more curriculum videos and more schedules and more routines that is what the algorithm is built upon and I can't fight that <laughs> I can't fight that but what I can choose to do is I can refuse to conform and I can choose to use more wisdom in providing answers to people's questions without just constantly repeating the same things over and over again. Um, our homeschool has changed and grown and all of those good things that everybody homeschool and life and family should do or be or whatever you want to call it. But if you will look back at a lot of our older videos, I say the same thing. Um, whether I move our walk time from the morning to the evening, the goal is still the same. So a lot of these things are still the same. Um, and I don't want to keep being repetitive about things. I want to make sure that I'm moving past initial questions on how to start and how to build a curriculum and how to build a schedule or routine into the things that really, really will uh, sustain us and keep us moving help us when we're discouraged and when we want to quit and when we feel like we're failing and so much of that has everything to do with the ebbs and flows of pressing through the hard parts of life and stepping into areas where we should be using our gifts and growing together as a family um, learning to be in good relationship with one another just all of those things so I'm excited to be able to use this space to be more creative and share more of our journey that reaches beyond curriculums and reviews and things like that but just try to get better and better at uh, using those creative parts of us every day so I don't know if that was too much but <laughs> what I'm saying is that we as a whole 
can do better. Like we can do better just really pushing beyond surface things and reaching for things that will sustain us, that will keep us, that will help us to continue to grow beyond these numbers that they try to confine us to. That is why I stopped sharing in the way that um, people might expect me to share as a homeschool influencer, but I'm so much more than that. We are so much more than that, and we don't wanna fit inside any box. We've never wanted to fit inside of any kind of box, but I just wanted to share that a little bit of why I've stopped sharing in that way and why we'll be moving forward towards something really exciting and really unique and uh, just doing the creative best we can with our lives, learning and loving and growing together. So yeah, I'm going to record a couple more podcasts and write down a few more ideas for my patron fam. If you're not following on Instagram, your friend has been doing so good over there, just being consistent and showing up and spending my 15 minutes a day <laughs> engaging here and there. So make sure you're following us at the Falco family. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel. I will leave all of the information for our Patreon space that will be opening up soon. And yeah, let's just learn and grow together and I will see you in our next video.